Hello, it's Friday and it's flowers for the weekend. How are you doing? How is everything indoors? Have you worked through all the recipes in every single recipe book that you've got on the shelf? That's a, certainly a good exercise to come up with all sorts of uh, recipes. Anyway, I'm here to give you a flower recipe and uh, this week I've dusted off an old container of mine, a lovely glass container, which I've put in some twigs that again I've collected from the garden and I've got a few more yes of the pussy willow you know I love a pussy willow gives us an extra texture and I'm just putting those into the design just round the edge creating a sort of forest of various twigs that we can look at and see through the container and you can see how that's beginning to build up. Obviously you can put in as many as you like and of different varieties, why not? Creating that natural feel that we enjoy here at Beacon Hill. To that, I'm going to add in these rather delicious white frilly tulips, which I've managed to get this week. And um, those are a real change. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the length, I've taken off the leaf, and then I'm just simply going to pop them into the design. Because our design is all about looking in. And that's very, very important. So, keeping the nice length, and my little trick for this design is to, before you do it, is to leave the tulips out of water just for half an hour or so, and then they get nice and soft and you're able to manipulate them as much as you like through the design. So putting those in and uh, making sure their heads are nicely spaced throughout the container and we can add in popping their stems underneath the stems that we've put into the glass container and weaving those around as though they're all interwoven separately. You see what we're up to? I'm popping the last couple in with their heads at different levels, making it all look rather gorgeous and exciting and somewhat a little bit classy, I think. Something you might see at a do. Do you remember when you used to be able to go to parties and do's? I don't know about you, but I'm definitely missing a do let alone being able to see my friends. Let's hope the position improves very, very soon and we can catch up and also have a few do's. There's nothing like a few do's, is there? A few don'ts as well in some cases, but certainly a few do's. I'm going to add in my water now. Oops. Trying to get it in the container and not all over the counter making sure that the stems of the tulips are covered with water and then I'm going to take these rather delicious, gorgeous and I'm going to be ruthless now so this is a, a warning because I just want their heads. I know, scandalous, but I just want those heads floating in the centre of my design bringing in that gorgeous, I've got a couple of heads that came off during the packaging which uh, I'm going to utilize. They're in the water and they're just floating on the top. Of course if you were having a little dinner party you might put some floating candles in there. Who knows? The options for you are endless but the ranunculus such a gorgeous textural quality that is really fabulous. I'll be back next week with some more designs. Hashtag flowers for the weekend. But from me, for now, cheerio.